Today I'm going to show you how to use the Speedball Linoleum Cutter. This is my absolute favorite tool that I use to carve pumpkins. I think it's much easier than anything else that's out there. So the way it comes is there are several bits in the back like this, okay? And really the only ones that I use are the wide tipped, um, it's like a scooper, and the deep V. Okay, everything else, like these are really pretty, but and they're probably fun for other kinds of carving, but I really don't use them. So I already have the deep V. In here, and the way you get them in and out is you unscrew the top. This one's kind of stuck because it has pumpkin guts and years of rust, but you undo this. And this comes out like that. Okay. All right, so I wanna show you exactly what it looks like when it gets cut. So what I do is I kind of hold it like I would a pencil, okay, just like a pencil, and almost parallel to the pumpkin, okay, I'm gonna practice cutting out slices. And as you can see, it's really good at making these lines. You can go pretty deep or you can go shallow, okay? And this is a really good idea to do at the beginning to practice on the back of a pumpkin, okay? Now, if I were to use a different bit, I already have on this one plugged in the, this is the larger bit. You see how it's rounded like that? So this is really good for taking out larger areas because you get a wider cut. It can also go pretty deep. So if you wanna get some really bright spots It's good for that. Okay, so let's say you want to leave this black triangle out and you wanna cut out everything else. You just wanna leave what's black. Okay, this is the classic relief style. What I would do is I would take your deep V, okay, and I would trace the edges. I'm gonna go around the edges of it first. So like in coloring books, sometimes you do the uh, edges, the lines first. Okay. Like that. This cutting tool makes nice corners. Do you see that corner right there? How it's real crisp. These are great for that. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to my scoop neck and I'm going to now scoop out the rest of it. And because this is easier to scoop out larger pieces, it's gonna have a cleaner surface. Do you see how clean this surface is? Okay. And you wanna stay at the same depth Okay, you don't want to have some lines going deeper than others because that's going to show up when it gets lit. Okay, but you know what? I think this needs to have a nice clean outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw I'm going to draw a circle. And that's gonna be what I think I want the extent of this part to go to. And so I'm gonna go back to my thin, uh, my deep V, and I'm gonna follow that circle. Oops, made a mistake, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Remember, you wanna go as fast or slow as you're comfortable. If you start to feel yourself slipping like I just did, then just go slower. Okay, remember to turn your pumpkin as you want. If it's in your lap or if it's sitting on a table, okay, let the pumpkin work for you. Okay, so this is my guiding line now. Now I'm going back to the wide dip, the wide tip, and I'm continuing to scrape out now 
the center. So this is the most basic technique I use for pretty much all my carves. I draw in with black what needs to be left. I carve out the rest. I use the, the deep V for my outlines. And then I go back in and I carve out the rest with the wide U-tip. And that's really it. All the carving I'll be showing you is pretty much in this style. Now sometimes you're carving out what's black in a traditional edging. Sometimes you're leaving what's black. But either way, you're starting with your V. You're going around your shapes and guiding lines. And then you're cutting out what's in the middle. Okay, that's it. Good to go.